Explain my Akeem 5. Eli 5, what creates the mushroom cloud when an atomic bomb blows up? The air, dust, and ash caused by the explosion is very hot, which means it's way less dense than the cooler air around it. Like a hot air balloon, the hot mixture gets pushed up above the cooler surrounding air and rises. The atmosphere gets thinner as you go up, so even though it's cooler up there it's less dense. Eventually, the atmosphere will be less dense than the hot explosion mixture, which means the mixture can't rise anymore. It hits this cap of thin air and spreads out. Think of it like releasing a big bunch of balloons in a room, and when they hit the ceiling the ones on the bottom push the ones on top out of the way. The ground is also still really hot from the explosion so as cool air rushes in to fill the space left by the hot air it gets heated by the ground and gets pushed up, too. As it does, it carries more ash and dust with it, creating the thin column of the mushroom, squeezed inward by the cool air all around it. That hot column of air keeps pushing up, forcing the hot gas mixture already up there out of the way. The mixture cools off, too, which makes it begin to sink back down a little. So hot column of stuff in the middle pushing up, which pushes the hot gases out, and then down, to form the cap of the mushroom. All explosions kind of do this, but they don't typically get hot enough to really show it. The layers of the atmosphere can be pretty distinct but they're still really deep, so it takes a big explosion to get the mixture of gases hot enough to go all the way through the bottom layers and run into that really distinct line between two layers that makes the effect so pronounced. The mushroom cloud isn't actually unique to nukes. Any suitably large explosion will do it. You basically just have a rising mass that's composed of hot air and debris, and as it rises cold air rushes in behind it from the sides. That cold air sort of pinches whatever heated slash debris laden air is left behind into a smaller stalk, hence the mushroom shape, extreme convection. The bomb creates temperatures as hot as the inside of the sun, this heats the air up to about 100 million degrees, no exaggeration. This hot air is extremely low density compared to the normal air around the bomb site, so it will rise very well. This makes the cold air push the hot air out of the way really hard, so you end up with a vertical tube of smoke, the stalk of the mushroom cloud. It stays as a tube because the pressure from the cold air around it is fairly uniform, so the pocket of hot air from the explosion punches a hole upwards. This rising tube of hot air is mixing with colder air as it travels, slowing it down and increasing the density of it. Remember, air at high altitudes is already thinner and lower pressure than at sea level. When the smoke tube slash stalk grows high enough, the hot rising gases start to equal the density of the air around them and the rise stops. The tube slash stalk continues to pump gases slash smoke into that area though, so the mushroom cloud forms. Damn, everyone is using way too many words to explain this so here. Explosion hot. Hot goes up. Pulls in cold from sides to fill space left by hot going up. Hot that went up spreads and starts to come down. Any large explosion will produce a mushroom cloud. Mushroom clouds are basically a column of rising heated air carrying smoke. In short, any explosion create a high temp, low density cloud in the air, creating such rising shape. This can be applied to nuclear explosion or even volcano. You can find more detail in the link below. There are also a lot of video experiences on YouTube about this phenomenon. Some URL The typical mushroom cloud actually happens because of the Rayleigh Taylor instability. This instability is present at the surface between two fluids, includes gases, which differ in density, where the lighter fluid is pushing the heavier fluid away. In the case of a nuclear explosion the temperature different between the hot and cold air is the reason for the different densities. The expanding core gas accelerates into the denser air on top slash year round. At the surface the moving air isn't replaced by gas with the same density in the next second, but with the other gas, with different density, resulting in another energy level at this point, creating velocity. This velocity will increase because more and more core gas will be replaced by the other gas, at the surface, resulting in more and more released energy, resulting in velocity, there. This increasing velocity will result in a circular motion at the surface, accelerating the two gases into each other, forming the mushroom cloud. As we know, hot air rises. After a big explosion, there is a lot of hot air with dust slash ash slash debris mixed in the air. So when it all rises, you get that distinctive hot air column that is the base of the mushroom cloud. As you go higher, the air gets less dense. As we know, high pressure likes to become low pressure. 
so it also expand outwards. As it expands outwards, the air cools, which means it drops. That's how you get a mushroom cloud. This thread makes me wonder what a nuclear explosion would look like in space, where gravity is negligible. Hot air is lighter than cold air. As air rises, it expands. An atomic bomb, or even a volcanic explosion, creates very intensely hot flash at the point of explosion, and a lot of heat on the ground immediately beneath it. That ground is hot. Hot ground heats the air around it continuously for a long time until it cools. The heated air expands and rushes upwards. Air rushes in to replace it from the sides. This creates a chimney effect that sends a column of air rushing upwards. With wind blowing in from all sides on the ground that picks up dust and debris from the explosion and carries it up, like a big pile of leaves thrown in the air. If you just throw a lot of crud into the air one time, it will spread out in a spherical shape and rain back down all around. But if you throw a lot of crud into a blast of air pointed straight up, you will get a mushroom shape because the crud raining down in the center is getting blown back up into the middle. Now, the crud is also hot and it carries more heat than the air. So it is heating the air around it. Which causes that air that's containing crud to float a bit higher than the cold air. So the whole mess floats gradually upwards. So, the mushroom cap is the edge of the stuff that's been flung up in the air, and the stem is the chimney of air. And that the whole thing rises gradually in the air around it. Take a large round piece of wood and place it on the floor. Place a bed sheet on top of it. If you were to lift the piece of wood very rapidly, the sheet would appear to be mushroom shaped as it ascended. And hashtag X200B. The core of the blast is very hot. It rises rapidly, due to heat. The large portion of the blast rises first, and then drags more air, dust, ash, etc. from the bottom. Much like the sheet sucking in, as the explosion blows up there's less resistance straight up where it's lower pressure. Once high enough it starts slowing down and spreads out, the heat from the explosion creates a hot column of air that drags the dust right up high, which makes the stem, till it hits the much colder air up top and stops rising but instead spreads out and begins to fall, making the head, heat and dust, warm air rises carrying with it a lot of dust and as more hot air piles in the cloud spreads out to make room for the new hot air, explosion heats up air and creates dust. Said hot air is lighter than the surrounding air so it goes up picking up dust particles on the way. Cold air replaces it and as the hot air bubble cools down it falls on sides back to bottom creating the said mushroom. I'm not quite sure about the other answers because I think it's simply displaced air. When you see an explosion underwater, the bubble will expand and collapse a few times before eventually collapse altogether into a smaller bubble of smoke. In comparison to that, the air is less dense so it would only do it once. And instead of being a bubble, the smoke gets pushed up from all direction at once creating a mushroom cloud of smoke. A fun example of this effect in a recreational setting. Some URL. This is what this sub is all about. A question I'd have never thought to ask beautifully explained. Thanks all. The same thing that causes a Guinness to bubble downwards. The hot in the middle raises much faster than the cool on the outside, causing a mushroom. Air and particles made by bomb is hot. Surrounding air is cool cooler than the bomb air. Bomb hot air goes up and it reaches a limit and spreads. Thus by creating a mushroom head like structure at the top, the heated air and material is much hotter than the surrounding air, and hottest in the center. The center rises creating a vacuum behind it. This curls the outside edges toward the center on the bottom, which rise in the center. The heated air mass is then pulled toward the outside and as the center passes it as it rises, the outside side is pulled into the center on the bottom in a continuous cycle. Search for the YouTube channel Curse Jessig. They have a video exactly on this topic, and many others, explaining in simple ways really cool scientific stuff in nicely animated videos. Vaporizes everything in its immediate vicinity causing a vacuum and heats up everything around. Causing everything to suck in and shoot up at the detonation point. At the moment of the explosion, a larger amount of superheated air immediately starts shooting upwards, because hot air rises. This carries smoke and debris from the explosion. After the air starts to cool, it starts to spread out in all directions, creating a mushroom-shaped cloud. Theoretically, any explosion of sufficient size would create a mushroom cloud, but typically only atomic weapons usually have that kind of power.